DJ. I'm here with another unboxing. Um, it's with the arcade block right here. I have it open. We had a few takes before this, so <laughs> well, maybe I'll show a blooper section or something. Um, so I'll, I'll get started. I've got a lot of things to do today, so here we go. First thing I see in there, which we knew was going to be in there, is the Video Games Live Level 4. There's two exclusive bonus tracks just for um, arcade block only. Uh, the ones that are there are... Chrono Cross and Castlevania Rock Live. That's pretty cool. I also see there's an Earthworm Jim soundtrack on there, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I'll actually be able to listen to this now. Cool. Next, uh, I see a Skylander figure. It looks like the back is off. It's already been opened or it fell off or something happened. It's cut there. I don't know. Um, but it's a dragon, Drobot. It looks like my son's into this stuff. I actually recently just seen this exact one at the store five below, so I know it only costs five dollars. Uh, so not a bad find. I think my son actually might already have this one as well. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but we'll see. Moving on, next. Uh, ooh, this looks cool. Some Pac-Man salt and pepper shakers. Well, they say salt and pepper pots. Never heard them called that, but. And salt and pepper shakers. I actually really like this. It's something I can use that other people might not have or probably don't have. So I like stuff like this. I don't always like the collectible stuff. I like it, obviously. I got pop figures back there and stuff. But this kind of stuff is cool as well. So I like those. That's a cool find. Uh, I also have an arcade block exclusive, it looks like. It looks like the little treasure chest from Zelda. The Legend of Zelda. I could be wrong. You can tell me if I'm Okay, well, it's DJ here. You can see that um, I'm obviously in different clothes, different angle. Um, that's because one of, for some reason, the arcade block, when I did it the first time, or second, or whatever take it was, it didn't record the last two products that were in the box. So, um, just to make sure what we know what's in there, I decided to make sure that I reviewed them and are able to put them up for you. So is a day later but it is what it is all right so one of the other things that was in the box was this t-shirt it's a kingdom hearts t-shirt probably can't see it i don't know um price tag says um 19.99 suggested retail price um i don't think anybody would pay 20 bucks for this shirt i never really was into kingdom hearts so not something that I'm probably going to wear or even keep. So that's cool. Well, it is what it is. All right. And then there's a Mortal Kombat retro video game magazine. Um, and it's just your typical video game magazine. As I flip through it, I see a bunch of Mortal Kombat in there. I see some Street Fighter. I see some old Mortal Kombat. So it must take it through that. Um, especially with the new release of the Mortal Kombat. So that's in there. Um, definitely have someone in mind who might like it. And that was the last of the box. I think I showed everything. So I have the magazine. I have the t-shirt. I have the Skylander figure. I have the arcade block exclusive little button thing or zipper tie thing. And... Oh, and I had the CD as well. I think that was it. That was all in there. Um, CD is pretty good. I was just listening to, to be honest, it's in my car. So um, just wanted to make sure I got back to you, made sure everything was all in there. So have a good one, and we'll talk to you soon with a new unboxing.